Hi everyone, this is Iris, and I'm actually doing this video outside of the camera because I'm just having one of those nights where I don't feel like getting ready and getting myself ready for the camera. And tonight I'm going to be showing you guys a real quick haul of all of my hair accessories. I am actually exclusively putting this video up on my blogger blogspot blog. <laughs> But um, eventually I will be putting this video on YouTube as well. So let's just get right to it, okay? I keep all my stuff in boxes like this. And I don't really have a large collection. Mostly I just have flowers that either I've purchased at places or flowers that have been given to me by people who know how to make these flowers and who actually sell them online. So I'll put some of the links in the information box or in my blog for you guys to check out later. I'm just going to quickly show you guys the flowers. I don't want to spend too much time describing because I think it'll probably be very boring for you guys to hear me talking about each flower. I'm just going to put them down and then I'll show you guys which ones are my favorite. And as you can see so far, I have a lot of red flowers. And I love a lot of these that have like the little sparklies in them. So cute. These are my sparkly ones. You can see the details there. And then we will move on to the pinks and purples. So we have like little tiny ones like this one. I know for sure that I got these at the swap meet. I remember getting them because I remember thinking, wow, those are so cute. And I think they were just like 50 cents or something like that. This is one of my favorite flowers. It always either comes out a really pretty purple in pictures or a real soft pink. I don't know why it is. This flower just always adds beautiful color to my hair. I have this purple one too, which is an orchid. And it has the little glitter, as you can see, which I love. Really pretty blue one, which you will also see in some of my videos. Now moving on to the pinks. This is a pink one that I haven't even taken out of the package yet. I haven't used it, but it's a very pretty kind of lily. And I know I got this one from Ask Me Makeup. I want it in a contest. And then we have some more of these little ones, which are pink flowers. A pink orchid. Looks kind of purple in the video, but it's pink. It's kind of like a peach, and it has two flowers, one big rose and one little rose there. And we will move on to the white ones. I think I see another little pink one in here. Yes, a little pink one. Comes with the bobby pin. Sorry about my nails. I haven't had a chance to do them yet. Which is part of the reason why you're not seeing my face because I just didn't want to do my makeup. And because I feel like it, alright? Okay, so here's a real pretty white one again with the glitter. I'm just so obsessed with glittery things. I'm sorry. And this one is just so pretty. It's a white orchid. And what I really like about it is that it feels and it just flows like a real flower. It just looks so natural and it's, you touch it and it feels like a real flower. So pretty. And then these are just flowers that I've purchased like at, you know, any arts and crafts store. As you can see, they don't have a clip on them, but I just kind of put it in my hair whenever I want to wear them in there. Same thing with these, see? This one I was going to glue onto a clip and I just never got to it, but it's so big. I mean, look at my hand and look at the size of this thing. It's like, it's huge, but I think it really accents certain outfits really well. This is the same exact flower, except in the back it has, it still has the stem because I was going to put it in my hair. And then, there's this little clip. Comes with that. And last but not least is this pretty little knit one. 
I also have this other little one, little yellow one. So those are all of my flowers. The next thing is all of my little hair accessories that I use just to kind of spice things up with my hairstyles. This is a headband that I bought at a dollar store and I believe it was in 2007 so as you can see it's kind of like already falling apart but I still wear it sometimes mostly around the house. It has pretty little cherries on it, really cute and kind of vintage looking. I'm going to try not to put my arm in front of the camera like that anymore. And then there's this headband that I actually made when I'm doing things around the house or I've got to get out of the house really quick. I just put this on over my forehead, slip it on over my hair, and all my hair is out of my face. It's a really pretty bright red, bright white, and it just looks really cute with jeans and a white tank top. And then you have, of course, my classic bandanas. I have it in blue, baby blue. I have it in red. I have another one in baby blue. So I think these colors just really contrast really pretty with dark hair, which is what I have. I have a yellow one, which some of you guys have seen in my tutorials. Really pretty yellow. And then my pink one, which is very girly. I love the details. So cute. Another headband. As you can see, I don't really do much with my hair. I just kind of like to put it in a headband. But um, this one's really cute. I actually always get a lot of compliments when I wear this one. I usually wear it with like hoop earrings, either like medium size or really large gold. And people are always asking me if this is a Chanel or if it's, uh, what's the other thing that they asked me? Um, I forgot the name. Oh, Coach. If it's Coach or Chanel. And I'm like, no, I think it's, I'm pretty sure I got it somewhere like Target or something like that. And then I always like to buy things like this ribbon and just cut pieces and, you know, run it through my braids or something like that. And I do have a tutorial with this ribbon. And I just got this at, it's a holiday brand and it's just, I got this at, I'm pretty sure I got it at Michael's. And it has, I'm going to try to show you guys the details. Hopefully it will focus. No, it's not going to focus. But it's like a rope and then it has like little silver beads in it. Really pretty. There's this brown ribbon that I like to tie around my hair or ponytails. And Amy from Ask Me Makeup made this for me. And she's been MIA for a long time now, but look at the detail. It's so pretty. It's got like these really fuzzy flowers with like pearls. And it's got this really pretty blue and white polka dot ribbon. Let me see if you guys can see that. And then on the other side, it's got like these really beautiful pearls that she put on as details. So cute. You just wrap this around your hair and it just looks so girly. I love it. This is another headband that I made. And I actually made this one to match a bathrobe. I have a bathrobe that's kind of like a baby blue sort of color and it's got like the lace trim on it and so I made it like that and I usually use this like when I'm washing my face right before I go to bed so it matches my baby blue bathrobe. So cute. There's this piece of fabric in there that I was going to use for another headband but I haven't had a chance yet but what I'm going to do is just sew it like this. And then I'm going to, at the ends, I'm going to sew like this, a, a piece of elastic that's going to go from here to here, like black elastic, so that it goes under my, under my head and then, or under my hair, and this will go on the top. So just waiting for some time to be able to do that. That is my haul of all of my hair accessories. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, this is an exclusive video for my blogger readers only. And later on, I will be putting it in the YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.